In 2013, visionary director Alfonso Cuaron brought a new movie to the big screen. A film that would further enhance 3D visuals and the IMAX experience after Avatar, setting an even newer standard going forward. A standard that has yet to be broken. I'm of course talking about gravity. Before I put on my fictitious spacesuit and really head out into this film, I want to shout out Anthony over on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies who requested I review this film. He's a Mithril member over there, which means he gets to pick a movie I have to review and give him a shout out, and man, he picked a good one. I love Gravity. I've seen it several times. This is like cakewalk. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you for this, this gift. If you like Roma, if you like Children of Men, if you like Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, they really have nothing at all in common, nor do they with the film I'm talking about today. A Sandra Bullock vehicle called Gravity. On the surface of nowhere, because this movie takes place in space, it is a very straightforward, gripping tale about a woman fighting for survival. It's a bottle episode. It's your classic ship in a bottle experience. How is she gonna get out of an unwinnable situation? Her prison is space. She needs to get back to Earth. Joining her on her misadventure is George Clooney, briefly, because although he has the wit and charm you come to expect from the Cloonster, things go awry pretty early on. And this somewhat by the book satellite expedition goes south real quick. Debris takes out the satellite dish, or debris, if you say things like a dumbass, forcing our heroine, Ryan Stone, to fight for her life. And that's the ball game, folks. A one hour and 30 minute edge of your seat ride. And it truly was a ride if you saw this in theaters on a big IMAX screen with those 3D glasses on. Shit was coming at you, but not in the obnoxious Spy Kids 3D sort of way. It, it just felt like it was floating out there, like you were in space with her, with Ryan trying to survive. Now, as I said, on the surface, this is a by-the-numbers affair. This is a straightforward survival adventure. But there is more going on. There's more going on underneath. And that's a story about Ryan herself and how she's reborn during this mission. She loses a daughter off-camera, we find out through dialogue, through conversation. And she's still grieving. She's trying to come to terms with that loss. And because of this experience, she's able to nest herself in, cocoon, and emerge a new person altogether. And by the end of the film, I am spoiling this, it's been out for a long time now, 10 years. And by the end of this movie, when she crashes down, splashes in the water, here she comes, a new baby, fresh out of the womb, Mother Earth. And her adventure lies ahead, a new life, new stories. She still has the baggage, of course, but she's pure now, she's, she's innocent, she's lived a full life, she survived, and now she gets to go on and tell a new tale. It's beautiful, it's profound. It's, uh, it's gravity. I talked about the story, let's briefly talk about the visuals. If you know Alfonso, you know he doesn't like to screw around. This guy knows what he's doing behind the lens of a camera. His favorite thing I've noticed are the long shots, the one takes that seemingly go on for an eternity. There's several in this film where you have no idea how this guy is conducting it, how this maestro is making this music. But this camera's moving in and out underneath of our character, and the camera takes you on this journey. You feel like you're in one of those, those seats that's moving around, and it's kicking you and throwing you every which way. It gets claustrophobic at times, it gets tight, because you feel like you're there with her, living through this with her. Special effects are out of this world, certainly off this planet. Uh, space looks like space. It's black. It's got stars. There's not a lot that has to be done, but there is a cool-ass satellite that gets destroyed. She's thrown around like a rag doll, scraping to get onto this thing. If you have anxiety, tr tread lightly. This is not a movie uh, that you should mess around with. It's going to put your anxiety at a thousand percent by the time it's done. That music, that score, is going to keep you at the edge of your seats constantly in your ears. It's getting stronger and faster and I'm starting to turn myself on just thinking about it, but uh, it's not that type of movie. This is very much an Alfonso vehicle and Sandra is right there for the ride. And can we talk about Sandra Bullock for a second? The every woman? She's a charm, she's a delight. Ever since I saw her riding in that bus in speed, 
or stopping the hackers in the net, or being Miss Congeniality, or helping a young black football player. She can do it all, and she can even survive the cold grip of space itself. So kudos to you, Sandra. And kudos to Gravity. This is a great movie. I own it. I love it. But it is, however, one that should have been experienced on the big screen. And I somehow hope it comes back. Because of the success of Avatar 2 and the 3D experience, I think Hollywood seeing that people will go out for event films still. They love it. They like the roller coaster experience. Bring Gravity back. Unlike Avatar, though, Gravity's still pretty damn good at home. Even when you lose some of the spectacle and the 3D, if you don't have that type of experience at home, you still have a solid, straightforward story, and it's short and to the point, and there is that depth to it. So, Gravity, easily rewatchable. I have seen it several times. Highly recommend it. Thanks again, Anthony, for requesting this video. And you, the viewer, can do that as well if you head on over to patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews each and every week. I mean, not even just new trending shit. We're doing Gravity from 2013. We're going all in on this. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Take care. Na -na 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 -na. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews and rants each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. Maybe join me on Patreon or YouTube Join via the Join button, plus other perks you can get if you're at the higher membership levels. I'm a one-man operation. I love what I do, but, uh, you know, time is money. And there's not a lot of it going around on YouTube these days. <laughs> I also started a second channel that's just comedy skit-based stuff. It's Adam After Dark. There are two to four minute ways for me to just be creative and have some fun. It's loose. It's, it's wild. It's sexy. It's not sexy. It's just me. It's just me.